We want to implement the cost function and the gradient once again for logistic regression, except that we want to add the, the additional uh, the regularization part. So first, we want to just copy our old cost function, and the thing we want to add to the cost function is, is the regularization. So it's lambda over two times m. And then we want to take, here it's uh, important to be a little bit careful. We don't want all the thetas. We want the thetas from, from 1 to n. And uh, so recognize that this is math, which is indexed from 0. So, uh, so this, is, this should be 0 here if we want to include all the thetas. And in MATLAB, it's indexed starting at 1 so it's a bit confusing but that's that's the idea so we want to regularization so we first check just what's the size of theta so that we know how to multiply them so let's see load data run this 28 by 1 okay so the regularization is lambda over 2m times theta and remember we want 2 from second theta value to the end and all all columns and we want to take that transpose times theta 2 comma n uh, 2 to n comma all so uh, we want them to all be summed together right so we want a scalar at the end and the way to get a scalar is by taking this transpose times itself. Then we get 1 by 28 times 28 by 1, which, uh, so we get, uh, this is, let's see, this above here is uh, 1, instead of 1 by 28, because we took away the first value, matrix multiplied by 27 by 1 which is just a one by one, so a scalar. Okay, so we get a scalar here, we get the regularization. All we want to do now is just add the regularization to our cost. And we want to check if this works. By the way, here it's kind of tricky, but if you, get the wrong, uh, if you get the wrong result, it might be that you run this part uh, several times and every time you you rerun this part you need to also rerun the load data so rerun that part and then run this okay maybe not okay so we need one more parenthesis okay so now we've only done the cost function okay yeah right we need to rerun this part so always rerun this part first <laughs> because otherwise you'll see that we, we get the absolute wrong result. So now we get the cost, 3.16, 3.16, and 0 0.69, 0 0.69. Okay, so the, the cost function is correct. What we want to do now is the gradient. So essentially this is the gradient. It's the same as the, the normal, the cost function that we have already done, except that we need to add so we need to add plus, uh, let's see, lambda over m, uh, and then we need to take all the thetas except the first one. So similarly, two to n, uh, two to n to comma all columns. Okay, so we rerun that, that part again. Then we check this part. Uh, Okay, so this took quite a while to debug, but so we have different derivatives depending on which theta we're looking at. So for j equals zero, we have this one, which is just the cost function. And then for j greater or equal to one, we have the, the regularization part. So what we need to do here is exactly as we did, which is to um, plus lambda over m times theta to comma to n and all columns. Uh, and the only thing that's tricky here is that, well, we actually don't, we need to have the gradient for the first one too. 
this will be 27 by 1 this will be 28 by 1 so if we try to add them it won't work so what we have to do is we have to add a 0 at the start just to make the dimensions uh, match and now it should work so if we run the first part then we run the second part uh, let's check we get the correct cost yeah and the correct the correct gradients too okay so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one